Today's video is about lupus nephritis, an autoimmune disease which can attack the kidneys and be a cause of kidney damage when you have lupus, when you have this condition, as well as a good percentage end up with kidney failure. So we're talking about complementary treatments, complementary herbal treatments that you can use. That's what today's video is about. Thanks for watching. So lupus, autoimmune disease, which ends up creating a lot of kidney damage, okay, a lot of organ damage. When you have lupus, they have medications, steroids, cell sep, um, to try to help as best you can, but overall the treatments aren't always that good, lots of side effects, and not always great outcomes. So if you have lupus, you really wanna do everything you can, especially these complimentary uh, recommendations I'm gonna talk about. Before I get into these uh, herbal therapies, you always wanna take with lupus, you wanna maximize your vitamin D and your omega-3, okay, those are very important. Vitamin D and omega-3. Okay, I have other videos about that, you know, but that's something you want to always do first and foremost. And you want to use the right type of omega-3. So other videos in the uh, section, comment section below, the description section that you can reference. Okay, so this piece of research for lupus nephritis comes from the Biomedicine and Pharmacotherapy Journal uh, 2022. And it's titled, Progress in Traditional Chinese Medicine and Natural Extracts for the Treatment of Lupus Nephritis. So uh, big, big article, big write-up here. Lots of herbs that they talked about and they provided the research to show that they can be supportive and complementary. And all the herbs they recommend can be taken along with uh, steroids. They can be taken along with Cellcept or any other anti-rejection meds that you may be doing or immune modulating meds that you're doing. So they do mention a lot. I'm going to talk about the two that I, or a couple here, the two that I feel that are, have the really good safety profile and anybody can use them. Okay. So the first one they recommend, or that I'm going to recommend from here, which was ranked very high is cordyceps. Okay. Caterpillar fungus. Okay. I've talked about cordyceps before. We have a whole video that discusses that. So if you're not familiar with cordyceps, check out that other video. Okay. Really important. It'll be down below in the uh, comments section. Okay, so the other herb, okay, that acts also a complementary treatment, you can use it along with the cordyceps, okay, and along with your medication. Um, overall, the research shows much better outcomes, okay, uh, less side effects from even the medications, all right, and it's just really a better, better outcome overall. So uh, the other supplement's called Pionia, okay, Pionia, it's another herbal supplement which you can use along uh, for your lupus nephritis treatment. Now, um, when I looked online, not a lot of brands, I don't have experience with this. I have a lot of experience with cordyceps. I use it myself. With Pionia, I don't. And the brand that I see out there that's really reputable, you can really count, count on the quality, the manufacturing, uh, making sure they have label claims, is Life Extension. It has a Pionia uh, supplement, Pionia extract, that you can look at and recommend taking two to three pills of that if you have lupus nephritis. So I gave a couple recommendations. Check out the other videos. You can look at the cordyceps, talk about the omega-3s, vitamin D, but Pionia also would recommend adding to that. And if anybody does decide to do that, uh, let me know what your experience is. It'd be great to share that with other people out there that have lupus. So thanks for watching everybody and to your best kidney health. Bye.